big thank you to the guys at We Are Stoke for sponsoring my match day vlogs this season. You can check them out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Linked in the description. Hey, up, guys, I'm the SS here, and today it's episode three of my career mode series. I know it has been an absolute age since my last episode, um, but I thought I'd bring some out. Yes, this is post commentary um, because my audio didn't record. I've tried to do it through my laptop. Um, this time, but uh, yeah, I messed with a few settings and it didn't quite work. But to refresh your memory, we had a draw against the. Um, we're just running through some of the uh, previous fixtures, and I did end up playing the um, Sunderland game off camera and did lose two one. But as we look into this episode, I want to get Birmingham away done, Bristol City at home done, Brentford and Forest played, and through to Huddersfield. Um. So yeah, without further ado, uh, let's just show you the. Um, Theme that we're running with. Uh, remember, we've got the front two of Tyrese Campbell and Jordan Thompson. Uh, they linked up really, really well in the last episode. We're playing Ngoy out on the right after we sold Tom Ince. And uh, yeah, I've been really impressed with uh, Ngoy as well. Um, obviously, Ryan Woods has left the club since um, the last episode, so I will be dropping him out for Klukas at some point. Um, but I'm, I don't know if I'm making a signing though. No, we uh, sent the Birmingham game, and yeah, it didn't quite go to plan. Um, I thought we'd get a bit of a better result. A uh, 2-2 draw with Shawcross getting a suspension. Great to see McLean and Bart on the score sheet as well. So these are the two signings we're going to make. Obviously, we made these signings in real life since the last episode. We're going to start by signing James Chester. Unfortunately, we can't get him on loan like we have in real life so we're gonna to have to buy him permanently um but i'll uh, come back when the uh, transfer has been completed so the squad uh, hasn't really changed we're going to put ryan woods on the reserves as he's not really uh well he's, he's on loan at millwall uh, james chester's going straight into the first team and tasha knows the move comes in on the bench for our game against Bristol City. So we're just going to change a couple of squad numbers as uh, James Chester is, has the number four at the moment. Uh, we're going to put him up to number 12, which is what he has in real life. And then um, we've got Tasha Noth the group. We're going to put him at number 20, again, because that's the number he, use, he wears in real life. So we're going to start by doing a bit of training. These are the drills I'm going to do for the majority of this season. Uh, let's hope we can maybe get uh, Nathan Collins up uh, to a low 70s. But without further ado, uh, we've now got a game against Bristol City. So we're now going to jump into that. This is the squad we're going to be using. We're going to be unchanged from uh, Birmingham, I think it was, apart from Chester coming in um, and Oakley Booth coming in on the bench. So here we are at Bet365 Stadium in the earth, early autumnal sunshine. Um, yeah, that needs muting. And yeah, Bristol City, um, decent side. You know, they've got some former Stoke players like uh, Ashley Williams and Benny Kafobe. Um, but yeah, I think we could give them a game, to be fair. Um, obviously, this game has been played, so I know what's coming. Uh, but Tyrus Campbell gets us kicked off and underway, starting here with a good chance. Thompson, uh, Thompson um, gets brought down by uh, Ashley Williams there. Could have been a penalty, but uh, no, I think I think the ref made the right call. Palmer plays a ball through to Masengo. Masengo out wide to, uh, I'm not sure who that was, but Edwards wins it back well. Plays it through to Campbell. Campbell absolutely hammers it home at the near post. A really, really overpowered um, a technique that is this year is the near post shots, especially um, in career mode. They are very overpowered. Great ball through from Tom Edwards there. All all set up by that goal was all Tom Edwards, all Tyrese had to do was slot it home for his um, third goal of the season. Bristol City coming forward just after that goal. Uh, Vyman's going to put the ball in and uh, deal, dealt with fairly well by Edwards. Palmer plays it out wide to, uh, I think that's Rowe there. And uh, yeah, Bristol City slots it home for the equaliser just after our um, initial uh, lead. We're coming forward again now. Uh, I think that's Berich plays it through, uh, prodded, uh, ho uh, prodded uh, out of danger by Stephen Ward. They're going to put a corner in um, now. And um, yeah, we've got to make sure we defend it well. Uh, Jack claims it well. 
a decent throw out wide through to Campbell. Campbell hasn't got any support at all, so he's forced to play to Nick Powell, and Nick Powell's going to spray it across to Stephen Ward. So yeah, a decent start to this game. Um, we've not been too bad going forward. A uh, bit, bit, bit shaky, at the, in, at the, the bit shaky defensively, but a nice piece of play there from Thompson. Thompson finds Campbell, and Campbell goes to the near post shot again, uh, but doesn't quite come off for him. Bristol City coming forward now for his Berich out wide to Nagy, and uh, a great save from Jack there. Uh, he obviously had that really good performance at uh, Leeds. Uh, just in the last episode. Ball played in from Ngoy. I probably should have took it with Thompson there, but that is half-time. We're going at the break, one all. It's not been too bad of a half, uh, but we uh, are straight back into the action, into the second half. Campbell plays it to uh, Klukas. Klukas finds Thompson. Thompson to Campbell, back to Thompson, and a really, really close shot there. Uh, it could have gone in. It, if you look at the replay, the amount of swerve he managed to get onto it, he nearly beat the keeper just a few inches wide. McLean's won it now. He's found Campbell. Campbell can't quite get the ball played through. Uh, but Powell's intercepted it, plays a nice ball in. And Thompson is there. Puts us up just after the hour mark. A really, really solid finish from Jordan Thompson. I'm really enjoying using Jordan Thompson in this save. That's his third goal of the season as well. Him and Tyrese up front are really good. And credit to Nick Powell for winning the interception and putting a beautiful, um, beautiful ball across to um, Jordan Thompson. Coming back forward now, Campbell wins it well off right, I think it is. Uh, he's going to try and get the shot off. No, he isn't. He's bought down in the area. Right, a really, really clumsy challenge there. And deservedly so, does get a red card. I dare say if we'd have carried on and uh, we may have scored there, but it was a really, really clumsy challenge. Doesn't uh, win any of the ball, only gets Tyrese. So it's a deserved red card. The ref has got that one right. But at first, Nick Powell steps up to take the penalty. But we're going to give it to Tyrese Campbell as he did win it. Uh, we're just going to slot it into that left-hand side, you know, as he has done in real life. And fair play to Bentley. He's done really well to save that one. Um, Tyrese, you couldn't have asked for a better penalty. Really, really well taken. Going straight for that top corner. But uh, Bentley clears it out. We're going to make some changes now. We're going to revert back to that 4-4-2 that did work in the last episode. We're going to keep Thompson and Tyrese up front. But we're going to bring on Tash and Oakley Booth um, for Nick Powell. Clickers uh, and Tyrese playing some one twos now. Oakley Booth plays it through to Campbell. And Campbell slots it home. A beautiful ball played through by Tash and Oakley Booth and a solid near post finish again from Tyrese Campbell. That's his fourth goal of the season. It puts us 3-1 up with uh, about 15 minutes or so left to go. A great ball from uh, Tasham. That's his first um, piece of play that and he's, you know, he's got an assist so I'm uh, definitely going to look into playing him a little bit more often. Tyrese, that's his fourth goal. He's been outstanding. Him and Jordan Thompson up front are revolutionary. And that is full-time, a 3-1 win against the Robins. A fantastic display from the lads. A little bit of lapse of concentration when we did concede, but um, no, really impressed with the lads. We, James Chester's done well at the back as well. Um, and uh, yeah, as we go into the simulated game against the so yeah, we're seeing the game against Brentford. We're going unchanged from that team that beat Bristol City. And unfortunately, we come away with a 4-1 loss. I do not know how that's happened. Ben Rahm, uh, Jensen and Henry with the goals. Cyrus Campbell getting a goal for us, so he's added to his goal tally. Um, McLean has got suspended, so that isn't ideal at all. Um, but yeah, this is a lineup we're going to take into the Nottingham Forest game. We're going to go with a midfield two of Klukas and Powell, Valinden on the right and Goy on the left. Uh, Valinden will be coming in for uh, McLean. Uh, we're going to go with Smith today. Uh, I feel like he'll be a bit better defensively than Tom Edwards. Uh, but we're going to keep that uh, same front two and hopefully do as much damage as we did against Bristol City. Um, Forrester coming forward here in the, the opening stages of the game. Uh, Sam Bissau gets uh, brought down by Chester. Really good challenge from Chester there. Valinden, nice roulette there. Prodded through to Campbell. Campbell to Thompson. Thompson, nice through ball to uh, Ngoy. What can Ngoy do? Twisting and turning. Loses it, um, but Thompson wins it back. And Campbell has had a really good chance there. A really, really weak shot. Too close to the keeper. 
but it's good to see that we're making these chances. And we're back on the attack again here with uh, James Chester. I did think it was Nick Powell that had the uh, did Nick Mount Nick Powell when I was playing the game, but it was uh, James Chester. I'm not sure what he was doing that high up, but uh, a decent shot for a centre half. Maybe if that had been Nick Powell, it might have gone in. Forrest coming forward now. Amiobi Sal uh, played through to Thiago Silva, and that's one nil to uh, Nottingham Forest. Not brilliant, not good defending at all. We didn't get tight enough, and uh, I wish to just get rid of that celebration. It does my head in? Um, but yeah, really, really poor defending. Everyone's all over the place. No one's in the right position, and how we've been let to run in um, that easy is uh, not very good. Tommy Smith maybe should have done a bit better. Chester should have done a bit better, but hey, there's still plenty of time to get ourselves back into this game as um, Nottingham Forest get us underway for the uh, second half. Um, Semedo now plays it through to Campbell. Uh, Campbell really well wins it back. And Powell blocked. Had that gone in, the game could have turned on its head there. We could have got the equaliser and back into it. Uh, a really weak shot from Forrest there. I'm not sure who took it. Forrest are on the attack again. A nice one two there, and it's 2 0 in the 70th minute. Not good at all. Defensively, again, not getting tight enough. Forrest have capitalised on it again. Uh, how he's been let to play that one two in, I do not know, but we should be doing a lot better. Look at the space he's got there, and look at the space he's got. I think it was James Chester that got dragged out. But here come Forrest again. Um, Grabham plays in Duarca, and that makes it 3 0. We are getting absolutely battered here. Um, and it's not going to be a walk in the park this season. It's going to be very, very tricky. Um, but yeah, it's going to be really tricky. Butland probably could have done a little bit better there. Um, definitely the defence could have done a lot better. I think it was James Chester that ended up coming over to try and defend. But here comes Thompson. Thompson, really nice piece of solo play there, saved by Pantillamon. Pantillamon is so tall, and um, yeah, Thompson just couldn't get that shot in, in on top, well, in goal, in the, in the into the, on target. Uh, Bart plays it through, and again, really, really poor. Attacking, we created some really good chances, just failed to put them away. Um, and yeah, Forest full deserved, fully deserved that win. Really, really poor game. Campbell not managed to put on his feet in that game, nor Thompson. Thompson had a good few chances, so did Dick Powell, um, as we think of those chances that maybe could have turned the game on its head, but unfortunately it was not meant to be. Had them goals gone in, had them shots gone in and turned to goals, then we could have been looking at a different scoreline. But we're going to move on. We're going to forget about that one, sweep that one under the carpet, draw a line, move on. We've got Huddersfield at home, obviously in real life. We lost this fixture, but we do come away with a 3-0 win. But Lyndon and Goy and Campbell with the goals, really, really good. Smith getting an injury, but it's not um, the end of the world because we do have um, Tom Edwards. We now sit in ninth place on 15 points. There is a bit of a gap to bridge between us and West Brom. Just above us, if we look at the bottom three, we've got Preston, Luton and Barnsley in there. And surprise, Preston are even that low. Huddersfield are down there as well. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed uh, the return of the Career Mode series. Um, I'll try and get another episode out later on this week. We'll get through October into November a little bit. And uh, yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. See you later.